So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some keyframe animation. So like I showed you in class, but a little different example. And you can do it with a great many different effects. And so what we're going to do is we are going to take the left hand image up here in the split screen and the right hand image and we are going to slide them towards the outside edges kind of like a barn door opening and that will reveal the uh, title underneath. And what's really kind of neat is I'm going to click on the clown uh, track and then go up to effect controls. And in order to affect this animation, we're just going to change the position of that particular track. Now, what's nice about this is that once you know how to do one thing, you kind of know how to animate many things. Because you can animate all of the things in here, like rotation and scale and opacity. And if you go down into the video effects area, um, you can animate a great many of these in here as well, such as the crop. All right. so. The key phrase here is keyframe animation. So that means that you need keyframes to make this work. And that just means a primary point in the action. And specifically for this, we just need uh, the point where the animation begins and the point where the animation ends. And then Premiere will fill in all the in-between frames. No way. All right, so I have my clown track marked. The clown is right here. Up here, I have twirled open my motion folder, and all I care about is this top one right here for position. Currently, my playhead is at zero, and I want to go ahead and move that over to four seconds. All right, and that's where I've started the title here. So we have three tracks, one for the clown, one for the mannequin, and one for the title. Uh, the title is the bottom most because it needs to be behind the other two tracks. So let's go ahead and change our position. So actually, the starting position is exactly where it is now. We want it to start in the correct position for the split frame. So to start keyframe animation, the first thing you have to do is turn keyframes on. So I'm going to click on the little stopwatch next to position. And that will do two things. That will turn the stopwatch blue so you know keyframes are active. And it will go ahead and create a keyframe for you with these settings. Now I could go ahead and change these settings if I want, but I don't need to. So that is our start point. Now what I want to do is pull my playhead over to 9 seconds, because that's where I want my animation to end. All right there. Perfect. And uh, now I could click on this little button to create a new keyframe and then change the position. But Premiere does something very nice for you. Premiere is a very giving program. Yeah. And uh, if I just change the position, it will automatically create a keyframe for me. So if you remember, the first number is horizontal movement, the second is vertical, so we want to move this horizontally. And so I'm going to click and hold and drag on that first number. And as I pull this over to the right, I just want to pull it until it goes out of frame. Just about there. And so you'll see now, if you drag, if you scrub the playhead, that you can see the animation working. It works really nicely. And so it's being a little jumpy right now, so let's just check it and make sure it's working okay. Yeah, very nice. It's a little herky-jerky, but that will clean up when we render the film. Okay, so one down, let's do the other one. So I'm going to click on Mannequin now. And uh, I am going to pull my playhead back to four. But let me show you an easy way to move around once you've already established some keyframes. So I'm going to go back to the clown for a minute. And if I click on these little arrows to either side of the keyframe, I don't have any right arrows because there's no uh, keyframes to the right of that. But if I click the left one, it'll jump right to that keyframe. And so now I've got my playhead where I want it. Now I can switch over to the mannequin track. Then I can turn on the position keyframes. Boom. 
automatically makes a keyframe there. And then just so I don't have to drag the playhead anymore, I'm kind of sick of that. For sure. I'm going to mark clown again, hit the right arrow this time. It will take me to that next keyframe. And then click on the mannequin track again. And now all I have to do is drag the position of the mannequin head to where it needs to be. So I'm going to go over that first number again, click and hold and drag, and this time pull to the left. And same thing as with the clown, I just want it to go out of frame. So perfect. And so believe it or not, that is it. That is all there is to animation. Is you just have to figure out what quality you want to modify. You have to figure out where you want the animation to start, turn on keyframes to make that first keyframe, move the playhead to the place in the timeline where you want the movement to stop, change that quality, and it will automatically create a keyframe for you to finish it. And let's just play this. Now I got some music in here, so um, hang on a second. I want this to be hotsy totsy. Oh my! Unmute that and hit the home key and uh, see the magic that I have wrought. Well, I don't know about you, but I just wet myself. Yeah.